It's your boy, Mr. Rome, Cowboys fan talk, right back, like I never left. What's up with y'all, man? I am out of the house, obviously, in my car, um, up in Richmond, Virginia, for one of my closest friend's weddings, and you know what I'm saying? I'm about to go get changed and everything like that, but I wanted to touch base with y'all. Sorry I didn't get a video to you yesterday. It's just too much going on, moving around, stuff like that. But, but, man, I just want to touch, touch tabs on yesterday's practice and what's going on with the team um everything looks good with the as far as like the offense and the defense i mean both sides are still making plays so i definitely love to give you guys updates on exactly what happened but i'm pretty sure at this point since i'm a day late that you guys are already familiar with you know what I'm saying the back and forth and stuff like that you see if you've been paying attention Dak prescott does talk a lot of trash um that's why i put that clip in the beginning of him messing with Kelvin Joseph about like this is what you wanted and it's just one of those things that, of an example of the media blowing things out of proportion um from what I understand from what the, you know the people that I know he's been doing this for years I love to hear that because I like competition I love the aggressiveness of it um everybody wants to paint Dak as docile and scary and everything like that and that's just not the case you know just because he knows how to speak in front of the camera and he's media trained as far as not saying anything to trick himself out of his bag does not mean that in between those white lines on the field that he don't talk his trash so i love that that's why i wanted to put that clip you know just to show you know one of the things that stood out to me yesterday too um stefan gilmore on the side talking to trayvon diggs and just kind of just uplifting him pointing out uh, nation right too uplifting him pointing out different things and just i know it seems minor but those things are things that were missing. We didn't have that elder statesman that was that proven a defensive player of the year to drop knowledge on, you know, players before or a, a veteran like a Brandon Cooks to do that before. So to visually see it, you know, different techniques. And, and I can see him pointing out different things like this. And Nishan Rice having a great camp. Um, I thought he might be on the bubble. I think Nishan Rice is going to be here. Kelvin Joseph, who should have probably been over there, who you saw got exposed in the first clip of the video. I don't know, man. I don't know. I know he's been on a special teams kick, but he going to have to do some more things or he might not be on his team. I'm not trying to hate on him. I just, the, the, the writing is on the wall. What the tea leaves are saying that he got to get it together or he might not be on his team. You know, but I love to see that from Stephon Gilmore, man. He, he and Brandon Cooks have just been a godsend. I can't say it enough. That's why I always say it. Um, you know, so... I'm excited about those things. Like I said, I seen on, on Twitter, you know, that it's 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 practice stats gate and everybody wanna keep up with practice stats, you know, Jalen Hurts and Dak Prescott and this is silly. Cause they're like Dak Prescott's up to four interceptions. But if you're gonna count the interceptions, you gotta count the other thing. You know, and, and apparently people have been keeping tabs on Dak. They said he's up to about 40 touchdowns, which I know sounds ridiculous, but it's camp. You're going to score a lot because you're just running situational stuff. So if you throw 15 red zone touchdowns because you're just working in the red zone, why does that matter? When you just you didn't have to drive the field, you're just in the red zone. And if you have a hot day, you could throw 12 touchdowns in one day. Does that matter? No. So that's why counting practice stats is stupid. You know, I was joking on Twitter the other day. I said, "How about we just start counting yards too?" It don't matter. Like if we counting stuff for pra practices, uh, David Hellman said it best. He had an interview on 103.5 The Fan. Practice is where you work on execution and you work on new things to try to perfect them. It is not a place in my mind to be counting stats and trying to do exact things that you'll do. When are you going to practice the stuff that you haven't done before? And be able to make mistakes without it hurting you, like in a game. So I don't know, man. People just, I get it. Sometimes organizations want to project a certain image and they want to coddle and protect that image with everything instead of just letting things organically happen you know and i ain't got no hate for jalen hurts before anybody say something it's just let it organically happen just let the boy go out there and play you don't have to craft and sculpt his image let him be him that's why sometimes when he just spits out all those quotes it starts to feel fake it was cool at first and i was like yo man you got a quote for everything it's, it's kind of like with dak with the, the company speak even me a big dak fan sometimes be like all right dak 
I just want you to keep it real. But <laughs> I get it. You, you got to play your position. So I guess I get the Jalen Hurst side. But, you know, one last thing I want to touch on. Apparently, Jeff Howe, I think that's how you say his last name, uh, from The Athletic, says that the Cowboys are still keeping tabs on Ezekiel Elliott. Now, I don't know if this is a... I don't know the in-depthness of the article. I just read the surface of it. Just the mere fact that they're keeping tabs on Ezekiel Elliott, does that make you feel like the young guys are not producing? Or does it let you feel that like Zeke still has connections with this team? I'll tell you how I feel. I wouldn't mind Zeke coming back, but I want Zeke to come back with a specific role. I do not want him to come back and take half the carries. Well, well look, first of all, if he's balling, he's balling. So let me shut up there. He comes back and he's just balling. Let him ball. But my thing is, I don't want him to come back and stifle on Malik Davis. I don't want Malik Davis to get deflated because we signed Ezekiel Elliott. Because Malik Davis might be ready to pop. You know what I'm saying? Rico Dowdo's been around, and you got Rojo, who got suspended, so he might be on the bubble. If you if you said, oh, I'm cutting Rojo and bringing in Zeke, because I, I think we're going to carry four four um, running backs. I don't think nobody be mad. I don't think nobody be mad. As long as Zeke comes in and just knows I'm, I'm more so a part of the team. This is Tony's running back room. Excuse me. This is Tony's running back room. I'm here to just help out. So I'm not opposed to it. But I want Zeke to come back under a specific role. I don't want him to affect what we got going on. I love the the chemistry of the team right now. Now, if the younger running backs are just trash, you, Ezekiel Elliott is a professional running back. He can get the hard yards, the tough yards. Now, he is not an explosive running back. It's a difference. Tony Pollard does that. Malik Davis can do that. Deuce Vaughn, who's been, I think he's been having a pretty good camp too, but I feel like he's more of a specialty player right now as opposed to the, the second workhorse on your team. So I'm not opposed to Zeke. I just want to say that clearly. But I'm, I'm opposed to it if it's going to come in and upset the Alpha card and change everything. You know, I want us to work on things and do things a certain way. But y'all let me know in the, in the comments how y'all feel about Zeke, how y'all feel about the team. Um, just the veteran leadership that we have in place now some of the new leaders i just i love the way this team is coming together and well like i was just saying would you be opposed to zeke coming back yes or no let me know in the comments yes or no yes i would, would want zeke to come back on a specific role no let's just move on i'm curious to see your thoughts i'm going to go change and get ready for this wedding i love y'all i'll see y'all soon